Ariel Helwani post fight at UFC on Fox alongside John Hathaway, who defeated Pascal Kraus tonight. And John, congratulations on the big win. It's been a while for you. You've had a tumultuous year, injuries. You haven't fought since last March. How good does it feel to be back and uh, back on the winning track? It feels great to be, you know, back in the UFC and back on the winning track. You know, I know Pascal was an undefeated fighter, and he was going to be a uh, very hard to kind of like capitalize on and, and break and, and wear through. So. Uh, you know, obviously, I'm, I'm fairly happy with my performance. I still feel like there's a couple of things I can work on. So it's a good, good fielding platform for this year. That big knee in the first, it reminded me of the Diego Sanchez knee. And uh, unfortunately, you weren't able to capitalize. But did you feel as though he wasn't able to, to recover as well as he should have uh, after you nailed him with that big knee? I think it definitely helped the flow of the fight. But uh, I feel like he recovered fairly quickly. I have kind of got a little bit too close straight away. I think I just got slightly excited. After having my kind of layoff that I, I managed to catch him with something, so uh, I got a little too close and he managed to kind of tie me up and, and recover very well, you know. But um, definitely, and obviously Diego was on, on the shot, what I caught him with. Um, he was off one of my shots, kind of thing. I tied up and let go because I didn't feel like I had it in through the knee and uh, obviously lucky I connected. What was it like being back in there for the first time in over a year? Did you feel as though you needed some time to adjust? Definitely. I, I think I, I just built up and got stronger throughout the fight, you know. But, um, you know, it's an absolute pleasure to be finding this organization and uh, it's good to be back, you know. And uh, I definitely think this is a great building platform. I'm going to start kind of like my great crusade building back up to the top and uh, I'll definitely get there hopefully. He hasn't fought since uh, November of 2010. Did you feel as though you were fighting the best Pascal Kraus? I think so, you know, he's spent a lot of time, obviously, uh, I follow him a little bit. He's been spending a lot of time out in America, you know, he's been training with some great teams over here, you know. I train with a great team back in, uh, back in my country, got some great trainers and we, we brought over some good sparring partners. So uh, I feel like, you know, we, you definitely saw the best of kind of both of us, you know, obviously, uh, it was an unlucky night for him and uh, my performance kind of came out on top, but I thought we both showed that we're great athletes and we're both kind of building in this sport. I recall being in, uh, in England for UFC 120, so much hype, so much buzz about your big fight. Obviously, uh, you suffered a setback against Mike Powell. What do you need to do to get back on track here and be one of the top contenders again in the UFC's welterweight division? I think, you know, just keep active and uh, keep winning performances. Uh, the, the crazy thing about the worldweight division is the fact that there's so many of us and you literally don't have to lose to go down a lot. You just have to be unactive and say uh, four or five other fighters have great performances and then all of a sudden you've dropped five paces. So I'm definitely just active and keep on my winning ways. You know, obviously a slight setback in London and stuff against Mike Powell, but uh, I still feel like if I keep putting in the hard work, dedication and time, I'll, I'll come out on top. How can such a nice and sweet guy be a fighter and hit people with knees like that? I mean, you're like the nicest guy. I, I want to go get some tea with you after this. I mean, how are you so sweet and, and then go out there and kill people like that? Sure, you know, obviously I was, I was just brought up fairly well. Not that, not that everyone else is. Everyone has been brought up great as well, you know, but um, I just feel like I, I look at this like a, a true sport, you know, and uh, I love combat and uh, I do love to compete. So, um, you know, I'm just going to keep kind of trying to compete and keep trying to get the best out of my own performances. It's great to see you back. Congrats on the big win. Thank you ever so much. Pleasure to have you.